Here we're going to look at question 79 from the IMAX 2012 paper. So in this question, we're given the equation of a line, y equals 2x minus 1, and we're given these five different points, of which we're told that four of the following are the same distance from this line, um, and one of, the, uh, one of them sorry, is in a different distance. So what the question asks us to do is to find which of these points is a different distance from our line. So if you'd like to have a go at doing this question yourself, then please pause the video now, otherwise we'll have a go at doing it together. So, um, to try and answer this question, there's a few different ways in which you could attack it. But I think perhaps the easiest thing to do in an exam, um, and while it doesn't necessarily seem easy, is to probably just draw a diagram. So if we were to label some axes here, and of course you do it fairly roughly in an exam, just to see if it gives you a rough idea. Um, and what you could do is you could just see if there's one of them which is obviously a different distance from the line. So we know that our line is y equals 2x minus 1, and therefore has a y-intercept of minus 1 and a gradient of 2. So it's going to intercept our y-axis at this point minus 1 here, and then for every 1 it moves across, it's going to go up 2. So um, we can draw a line in that sort of fashion, um, and we should see that it looks something roughly like this. So every 1 we go across, it should go up 2, and so on. Um, so now the next thing we would do is just label on each of our points. So if we put on point A, which is just at 1 minus 1, then it should be roughly here. Moving on, we can put on B, then C, then D, and then finally E up here. So what I've done is I've labelled on these little pink lines to show the um, perpendicular distance from the line, y equals 2x minus 1, to the points. So I've just done this to make it a little bit clearer and to see how far the points actually are from the lines. And if we look down, then we can see that, for, um, roughly speaking, all of these points, A, B, C, and D, are about the same distance from a line, um, or at least they're fairly, they look fairly similar from our diagram. But E seems quite noticeably longer. And so this is just going to be enough evidence to say that E is going to be the point which is further uh, furthest away from them, um, and is a different distance uh, from the line compared to the other points. So bearing this in mind, we can just say that our final answer is going to be point E.